Yellowstone National Park sprawls across an active volcanic caldera, packed with a stunning variety of wild animals, geothermal features, geysers, roaring waterfalls, and breathtaking views. The park is home to some of the most famous wildlife in North America, including grizzly bears, wolves, bison, elk, pronghorn antelope, and more. However, you don't have to be a seasoned hiker or outdoorsman to see the beauty of this park. You can experience the park with a family or as an individual, and everyone will leave feeling inspired by the experience. This travel guide will help you explore and view the best sites in Yellowstone National Park. Number 10. West Thumb Located on the shore of Yellowstone Lake, this area is home to some of the park's most beautiful scenery. The views here are breathtaking. Located on the most western portion of Yellowstone Lake, formed by a volcanic eruption 174,000 years ago, West Thumb is a volcanic caldera located within a caldera. The most famous hydrothermal feature here is a geyser known as Fishing Cone, located on the lakeshore. One fisherman was badly burned at the geyser in 1921, Fishing is now prohibited in this area. Number 9. Yellowstone Lake Yellowstone Lake is a great place to relax and enjoy the summer heat. It is the largest body of water in Yellowstone National Park, covering 136 square miles. The lake was formed 640,000 years ago in a great volcanic eruption. Part of the caldera is the lake basin. Fishing for trout in the lake has been a popular activity for over 100 years. Today, powerboats, canoes, kayaks, and sailboats are allowed on the lake. Boat rentals are available at the Bay Bridge Marina. Number 8. Mammoth Hot Springs Mammoth Hot Springs is one of the park's most popular destinations, and it is easy to see why. It is a large complex of hot springs. Located on a hill of Travantine, the hot springs formed over thousands of years. The hot water that bubbles up from the springs travels along a fault line from the Norris Giza Basin. The Upper Terrace Loop is a diving trail that winds through the springs, passing by many of its geothermal features. An easy way to take in all that the Mammoth Hot Springs have to offer. Number 7. West Yellowstone West Yellowstone, a beautiful town, has been a gateway community to Yellowstone National Park for over 100 years. Located near the west entrance to Yellowstone National Park on the border of Montana and Wyoming, Walk around and explore the many restaurants, saloons, and shops that are open year-round. The local farmer's market is open every Saturday morning during the summer, so come out early if you're looking for fresh produce. There are year-round activities. The town has a Wild West feel and is a must-see location. Number 6. Grand Prismatic Spring The Grand Prismatic Spring is a truly stunning sight, Located in the Midway Giza Basin, the spring is the largest hot spring in North America, the third largest in the world. This is a great spot for photographers. Grand Prismatic Spring is named for its incredible colors, like those seen in a rainbow. Interestingly, the spring's intense coloration is caused by bacterial mats that thrive in the mineral water, best viewed from an observation area that looks over the hot spring bed. Number 5. Norris Norris Giza Basin is the oldest, hottest, and most active of Yellowstone's thermal zones. According to the data, thermal features have been present at Norris for at least 115,000 years, and the basin's characteristics undergo daily changes due to regular shocks from earthquakes and water fluxes. Steamboat Giza, the tallest active Giza in the world, is located here. Porcelain Basin and the Back Basin are the two halves of the Greater Basin, and while the former is devoid of trees and offers oral, visual, and olfactory stimulation, the back basin is heavily wooded. And in case you want to stay here, there is only one campground in this area, the Norris Campground, which the National Park Service manages. It is situated close to a river that flows gently into a forested area. Number 4. Upper Giza Basin and the Old Faithful Inn About half of the geysers in the world are found in the Upper Giza Basin, Yellowstone. The site has at least 150 hydrothermal marvels inside just one square mile, and the most significant geysers among them are Old Faithful, Grand, Castle, Daisy, and Riverside. While all these natural attractions drive tourists worldwide to the Upper Giza Basin, the Old Faithful Inn is a legendary man-made attraction that should not be missed. The massive wood building soars to a height of 76 feet and is regarded as a masterpiece of rustic architecture. You cannot miss its steep sloping roofline adorned with many gables. The inn offers views of the Old Faithful Giza from guest rooms and common areas. The hotel is a national historic landmark and continues to be the largest log hotel and one of the biggest log-style buildings in the world.
The main lobby is four stories high, with open balconies and a massive fireplace that is popular to sit around and converse with fellow park visitors. Number 3. Hayden Valley Hayden Valley is a beautiful place to go. It is a large open valley located in the center of the park. The area is known as one of the best places to view wildlife in the park. The Grand Loop Road follows the eastern side of the valley. There are several roadside turnouts along the Hayden Valley, offering views on both sides of the road. As you drive along this beautiful broad valley, you are likely to see nature and its glorious manifestations, mainly the incredible wildlife. The area is also frequented by wolves, buffalo, elk, grizzly bears, and more. The area does not allow off-path foot travel. However, there are two hiking trails, the Merry Mountain Trail and the Hayden Valley Trail. Number 2. Lamar Valley The Lamar Valley, a narrow steep-sided valley located in the park's northwest corner, has many lakes and streams, making it one of the most beautiful parts of the area. Lamar Valley is one of the best places to see wolves in the wild. There are two famous wolf packs that roam the area. The wolves of Yellowstone were reintroduced to the park in 1995. They have since thrived and were taken off the endangered species list. In 2009, the Lamar River flows through the valley, part of an aquatic system that drains in the Yellowstone River from several different sources. The Lamar River and its tributaries are famous for fishing, boating, and canoeing. The Lamar River hiking trail in this area offers views of wildlife or beautiful scenery. Number 1. Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone has been carved out by the flow of the Yellowstone River over thousands of years. Yellowstone National Park gets its name from the rhyolite rocks in the canyon. The canyon is about 24 miles long with several waterfalls. It is about 1,200 feet deep. Today, the canyon is still being eroded by the constant river flow. The upper and lower Yellowstone Falls are musty locations. The Lewis and Clark expedition took notes about hearing of the falls. They did not believe the stories told to them by Native American tribes. The lower falls are nearly twice as high as the Niagara Falls. There are numerous viewing locations such as the Canyon Loop Road, Uncle Tom's Trail, and Artist Point. Artist Point is truly breathtaking and easily accessible, overlooking the famous 308-foot-tall Lower Falls. This might be the most photographed location in the park. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.